Hi everyone. In this video, we will solve equations with decimal coefficients. Our equation has a decimal, 5.2. Decimals can sometimes get a little messy, so we have a method in which we can get rid of all of the decimals. The first thing we need to do is count all of the decimal place values, and in this case, there's only one. So we will multiply both sides of the equation by a multiple of 10 with the same amount of zeros as the largest number of place values of the decimal in the equation. In this case, I only have one, so the multiple of 10 will only have one zero, which is 10, and we'll multiply it to both sides to keep it balanced. Then we do the distributive property by multiplying it into both terms on the left-hand side. When we multiply a decimal by a multiple of 10, we move the decimal the same amount of place values as zeros, and since 10 has one zero, this will move the place value one to the right, making this 52r. And now we don't have any more decimals. Now we do 10 times 12, which gives us 120. And on the right-hand side, 10 times negative 14 is negative 140. Now we need to isolate the variable, so we'll subtract 120 from both sides, leaving us with 52r on the left, Negative 140 minus 120 gives us negative 260. Now we need to continue isolating the variable, so we'll divide both sides by 52. 52 divided by 52 cancels, so we're left with r equals a negative divided by a positive is negative. 260 divided by 52 in my calculator gives me 5. So our solution is r equals negative 5. You can go ahead and check this by plugging it back into our original equation and seeing if we get a true statement. I won't be demonstrating that here, but you can try it on your own. If we end up with a statement that is not true, then we need to go and try again. Either way, we're all done.